We start tonight with the wildfire fight in Northern California. All day long, firefighters battling the Crozier Fire near Placerville. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. So the fire started almost 24 hours ago, but it has now exploded in size and more evacuation orders are being announced. ABC 10's Garge Paul Sunga is live in Placerville at the command post tonight. So what's the latest on the firefight, Garge Paul? Yeah, Chris, this fire continues to grow. Cal Fire today is saying that this fire today burning pretty aggressive. That is how they're describing it. And we're about 10 miles away from where that fire is. This is the command post. Right now they're setting up the area. This is where a lot of the resources come and where they deploy a lot of the resources. And the problem with this fire, obviously it is hot, but the biggest challenge that crews face with this is just trying to access where this fire is at. Some of the crews have had to trek into that area. This is a very narrow and steep area where fire crews have to get there. We were actually there. We tried going there, but obviously it was just too difficult to go. So that is the challenge that crews face. Also the temperatures and this fire has a lot of fuels left to burn. One by one, through the air and on the ground, crews working to stop the Crozier fire. We've been really hitting the flanks hard and trying to find an anchor point. The fire igniting late Tuesday night, burning in extremely remote areas northeast of Placerville, the area of dense forest and dry brush, providing plenty of fuel to burn and burn hot and strong. Crozier fire smoke plume ever growing, a area of steep and rocky terrain making this firefight challenging. And this is a very small road for fire crews to get here. So you got bulldozers helping clear the path, removing all this vegetation. So in case the fire does come, fire crews are able to get out of here quickly. It's pretty hard access out there, pretty far out into the um, forest. So just getting crews to the fire line is taking a long time. We live out on Swansboro Road. Residents like Dick Rude forced to evacuate in the middle of the night. And it must have been around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when we got the phone call there was a fire up there on Slate Mountain. So then it was just, you know, what are we going to do? Rude and his family packing up what they could and moving down near the local airport where some crews waiting for their assignments and those on the front lines not only battling the blaze, but also the hot temperatures. This remote El Dorado County dealing with another wildfire. And for the roots, this is their third time evacuating. Saves a lot of homes and property and a lot of the forest. You know, yeah, they do a heck of a job. And Cal Fire tells me expect this fire to grow. So that is what they're worried about. And with the evacuation warning, some of those could be turned into orders as this fire continues to grow. So they're worried about just where it's burning and exactly what it's burning. There's a lot of fuel in that forest to burn. Reporting live in Placerville, Garge Paul Sunga, ABC 10. Yeah, and Garge Paul, you really capture some amazing video there showing the difficult conditions for fire crews and evacuees. We can't stress this enough. Everyone be safe and heed those evacuations. Garsh Paul, thank you. Okay, so take a look. It was an active day all across Northern California. The Silver Fire in El Dorado County burned about 37 acres and forced evacuation orders. All of those have been downgraded tonight. In Nevada County, a small six acre fire forced evacuation orders as well, but they have also been lifted. And in Butte County, a 10 acre fire is now being cleaned up. And meanwhile, the fourth largest fire in California history continues to grow. The park fire started July 24th in Butte County. It has now burned more than 420,000 acres across four counties. It's 34% contained and evacuation orders are still in effect in Tehama and Butte County. A man from Chico is also behind bars, accused of starting the fire. And Carly, we know the wind has been a problem today. Any relief tonight for fire crews? Yeah, unfortunately, we're still seeing some breezy conditions pushing through the Delta. And we're still seeing some breezy conditions as well, even in foothill spots. Luckily, not gusty. That'll be the bigger concern. In the evening hours, things do slow down just a bit. But we have been seeing that smoke now moving back down into valley spots with moderate to seeing air quality uh, affecting sensitive groups out there in that orange shade closer to where the Crozier fire is and that silver fire was burning. As you can see, both of them right in that same zone there. And we've been tracking the park fire for some time now. 
The winds continue to shift that smoke there to the northeast, but in the evening hours, we see kind of wrap right back around coming back through the Delta sponsors. We can expect to see as we move towards Friday. Just take a look at this. You see it burning up toward the northeast, but then as we get to Friday, it kind of wraps right back around from the north, coming in offshore and then right back in through those Delta spots, bringing us those concerns again for some more haze into the valley. As we look at current humidity, we're covering into those valley areas as we get to 45 to 50 percent. But just take a look where the fire is burning there. Only 20 percent humidity, so very low still for those areas. Is it still incredibly dry? We'll talk more about this heat as well as a cool down headed our way coming up. For the latest updates on those fires happening all across the area, download the free ABC 10 app and don't forget to turn on notifications.